Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. Today, we're going to do a hot butter cheese steak, or a steak hoagie, or steak sub, whatever you want to call it. Um, my version of it. Hope you all like it. Um, let me get the camera turned around here, and we'll get some ingredients cut up, and we'll get it cooking. Bring it right back. Alright y'all, uh, for this cheese steak, uh, usually I like the real thin sliced, the paper thin sliced uh, beef, but uh, they didn't have any at the store so I got this minute steak and I'm going to cut it up into strips and little chunks and we're going to throw it on the griddle and, you know, cook her up. So, you know, just got to, you know, cut up some thin, nice thin little strips here. This will work just fine. I've done this before, I guess. You know. Don't take long to cook this stuff, so. Now this thing's probably three-eighths of an inch thick. I'm probably cutting it three-eighths of an inch wide, so. She should cook up pretty quick. Alright, y'all. Got that beef all sliced up. Now we're going to take an onion and I'm going to slice it nice and thin. Get some nice rings off that. Now if I was a smart guy, I'd get my mandolin slicer out and just pop right through this sucker, but yeah. Alright. Try to keep from cutting into my thumb off, my finger off. So, all right, got that all sliced up. Next, we'll get the griddle slid over here, and we will uh, get it warmed up and get this stuff a cooking. So, we'll bring y'all right back. All right, y'all, got the griddle nice and warm there. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on there. And, ooh, you can hear that sucker. a little bit more and a bit warm. But it'll be alright. I got it set at about 300 degrees, 325 there, something right around in there. Alright, we got the butter on there. Now, just going to layer strips of steak on there. Let's get them a cooking. And I ended up not cutting them up in little pieces. I figured they'll be fine. Alright. I'll lay some onion on there. Hope you guys can hear me over that sizzling. that cooking. Got this little pepper here. Got garlic powder. And I'm going to put a little bit of Creole syrup. Creole seasoning on there, because I like a little bit of a kick. So. And maybe a touch of salt. I don't use a lot of salt, but I will for you guys. A little salt on them onions. So. See, it don't take long to cook these things up. They're already starting to brown.
keep them on the griddle. So they're not laying on top of one another. Alright. There's that. And then we've moved around a little bit. Now this was requested by a viewer. I said they wanted to see a steak sandwich or a cheese steak. So her, what the heck? Let me get her going. So all right, I'm gonna let this stuff cook, y'all. We'll bring y'all back when we're closer to being done. All right, y'all. I forgot. I'm gonna put a little cumin on these. Just give a little bit of a smoky flavor, you know. Put a little on the onion there too. Why not? You know, a little bit of ground cumin. So it does have a nice little smoky flavor to it. So, all right. Let me uh, finish cooking this up here and then we'll bring y'all back. All right, y'all. You can see here, this steak's getting nice and done here. So, onions are basically done. So what I'm gonna do is slide my onions back up that way. Get them out of my way. I'm gonna take my bun, lay it here on the griddle. We're gonna toast this sucker up. You know, look at that steak. That steak looks delicious, don't it? Onions are awesome. Put that piece over there, get her a little brown on the other side there. So, yeah. Bring that bun over here and get some of them good juices on there. Oh yeah, she's coming around. She's starting to toast up a little bit there. All right, I'm gonna grab a plate here, guys. Let this to let these buns here toast up a little bit, and uh, we'll bring you back when we're ready to throw this thing together. All right, y'all, got that bun all ready to go there. Throw that sucker up on them. I mean, they're not, they're not totally toasted, but, I mean, good enough for who it's for. So, grab some of this steak out of here. And look at that beautifulness. Take some of this onions here. Now, I'm, I'm going to use provolone cheese on mine. You know, y'all can use whatever you want. So, there we go. And there you have it. Grilled steak, steak and onion sandwich. Hot buttered cheese steak, whatever you want to call it. You know, so. Alright, there you go. Hope you enjoy. Alright, y'all. There you have it. My version of the hot butter cheese steak or steak hoagie or whatever you want to call it. Um, hope you liked it. Uh, let's take a bite of it. Show you all what. There we got it. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> As always, y'all. <laughs> Delicious. How can I go wrong? I'm cooking it. It's what I like. So, anyways, there you have it. Hot buttered cheese steak, steak hoagie, whatever you want to call it. My version. You know, got that little bit of Creole seasoning in there, so it, you know, it uh, gives it a little bit of a punch. Really liked it. So, hope you all like it. Hope you all try it. So, there you have it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. If 
you like what you see here, give it a thumbs up. You know, always appreciate it. Leave some comments down there for something something you guys would like to see. This was a viewer requested uh, meal. Uh, can't remember exactly who requested it, but there you have it. It's my version of it. Um, don't forget my, about my weekly live stream, Sunday nights, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Hope you all stop by and uh, check out what we're doing. We can talk cooking. We'll talk uh, small engines, any repair, shoot the breeze, whatever. So, all right, guys, we're going to shut this camera off, and I'm going to eat that sandwich because I'm hungry. So, until the next time, bear appetit. See ya.